An aspiring surgeon will receive $3 million five years after she lost a toe in an escalator. It didn't just tear through any shoe, it cut through a boot. Take a look for yourself. Now, this is her boot after the incident. As Fox 16's Jesse Tenor reports, Park Plaza Mall maintained it wasn't at fault up until last week when it admitted liability. Just like millions of Americans during the holidays, 22-year-old Aisha Siddiqui was Christmas shopping at the mall. But as she took an escalator down to the next Park Plaza store, she got stuck. Not a flip-flop, not some flimsy shoe, but her boot went all the way under that comb teeth plate. And it was trapped in a gap. And what we know is that gaps create traps. According to the surveillance video, the escalator kept going for 10 long seconds, shredding Siddiqui's boot and her big toe before someone shut it off. Her attorney says she later found out that Good Samaritan knew what to do because he had to push the same emergency button a couple weeks prior at the same mall for the same escalator. This escalator was installed in 1988 and it had not been upgraded to include those safety devices. Siddiqui lost her toe. Three days later, the Donaghy Scholar at UA Little Rock was wheeled across the stage to accept her diploma. She was heavily medicated and she was in great pain. Siddiqui's pain continues as she learns how to walk on the side of her foot, preparing for knee, hip and back problems as she ages. Every step she takes, she doesn't have that locomotion to propel her forward. Today, Siddiqui is a 27-year-old medical student whose dreams of becoming a surgeon were cut short because she can no longer stand for more than a few hours at a time. She simply doesn't want to put patients at the kind of Russian roulette risk that she was placed on when she put her foot onto that escalator. The victim did not want to be on camera, but did give us this statement saying, quote, I never wanted to be involved in a lawsuit. It was never about the money. I did this because they were telling me this was my fault, and I knew it wasn't. Park Plaza disagrees with the jury's verdict. It will likely appeal the decision.